showing us that report. I mean, it does seem like exactly what you would expect to be happening in that room. So that in, from the Republican insiders uh, that are texting, there are two theories going out there. One, which is funny, she's asleep, and since <laughs> she has her own, you know, stability, remember at 9-11, she fell, nobody knew where she was, so the concept of she's not there around, or the second is that they are lawyering up, they're waiting for Michigan, and they're going to contest it out, and there may be a recount somewhere. Well, thank you for those two. I'm just saying, <laughs> she could be nope. asleep. Maybe she doesn't have the stamina, low energy, kind of, you know? How I'm for, pretty tired. I can't for the life of me understand how a candidate wouldn't deliver that news herself, what Podesta did. And given that it's the Clintons, when you said, does anybody else think that there's something nefarious going on? I'm like, maybe they know something? Maybe they're oh. low. It's something like, I can't. Do you know how long people waited in line to get into the Javits Center? They've been parked out there since this morning. These things take hours, hours to produce and put can together. I, can I posit sort of an alternate theory, Occam's yeah. Razor, the simplest, which is that enough states haven't been called yet to put Trump over 270 electoral votes, and so they're waiting until Okay, there are enough states minutes, to get to 270 electoral votes. I think they're waiting until those states are called. I just, I think rather than ascribing uh, nefarious reasons or humorous, though I don't think it's uh, good, tonight though. is, I, like I, like it. I don't think I tonight's like a it. laughing matter. Um, uh, maybe they're just waiting for the states to get What's called. What's weird and, is that they said tomorrow, though, Mark, and, and not I, tonight. And because and I, I think it's really unlikely that all of these states are going to get called tonight. I mean, we might get there. We might get there in a place like Arizona. Right. Um, and if we do, then I think. You know, th there's a conversation, but it is what two fifteen in the so morning. So, what is the victory for Hillary? She's at two eighteen. Trump is at two sixty six. What in your world? What does she pick up? How does she turn this over? So, I'm not saying that I see a very clear path. I think it's extremely unlikely that there is. But I, I just think that there is a much simpler uh, reason yeah. uh, for why she might not have appeared. I, I, look, the, the simple reason is this. This is what Mark and I were were talking about uh, at the map earlier. I think they're holding out to see if they win the popular vote. That's all. If she wins the popular vote, that's a very different conversation. It's still it's a very still different fast. conversation in the context of a concession speech. Or exactly, very... exactly, and the potential for trying to fight it legally. You know, I mean, one since the election hasn't been called yet, since Trump hasn't gotten to 270, you're not going to say anything. You know, even though it looks pretty obvious. But if 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 Hillary Clinton somehow by 50,000, 20,000, 570, if she somehow wins the popular vote, she's going to have some very different things to say. Now, the rules are the rules. She will still have lost to Donald Trump, but she's going to say something very different, and I think that's probably why she, they're not saying But doesn't it. this leave a bitter taste in the mouth? Absolutely and isn't this just a tiny yes. example of her entire yes. campaign? And she, for her doing yes. something like this, it, to me, you know, as an outsider, I must admit, it seems like you couldn't even be bothered to wait out Agreed. the few hours on the most important night of your life, I, potentially. I, it's just, it's a tiny microcosm of, of her entire campaign, this bitter taste in the mouth that one has with Hillary Clinton. And, and if she's she going to... wanted her supporters to yes. have to wait until 4 a.m. These are the she could have presented. The point is that she could have delivered yet. those exact. She could have said yeah. exactly what John Podesta said. I that we're not. I'm not arguing that she should. And have you don't think that that would have looked even weaker? Absolutely not. I think that if she would have said that, she could have then. If if let's say they are waiting to see if they won the popular vote. Mm -hmm. That is a demonstration of leadership at that point, you know, where you have the courage to go out and say exactly what John Podesta said, and then afterwards give more remarks. But but at the very no, least, I, show I, your, I, show I, your, you get no, the last no, word on this. No, 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 on. One, no one in the movement will ever accuse me of being a Hillary Clinton person, and I just don't think you take the stand until you say one. It, you have two things to take at the end of the campaign. Right. You either ex, you either talk to your people about we fought a good fight and you have something clear to say about the future, or you say we won and this is where we go. Those are the two things. Otherwise, you don't take the microphone. I just think this is in status quo politics. And why do well, what, yeah, what's she's, so that's, why that's what do, I'm saying. So why do what's always been done? Because like, so she is status quo. So what? <laughs> You're expecting so, a nearly right, Speaking of something that is not, not status quo, <laughs> we have Ryan Nerves outside of the Trump victory party.